You can see what I plan here. Normally I would use sl uh, sloped roofs, but I discovered I can actually use the ramps and they fit a little better. And then I fall in the water. <sighs> Hello everyone, Trigon here, and we're back on Growler's Island. And we're doing part two of our boat building tutorial. So, I've got a little bit more work done than we had last time. Did some adjustments, some testing. I changed these doors to open in. They were driving me nuts opening up. Fortunately, I couldn't do that with the front. You can see I did expand, uh, extend the ramp off to the side as I uh, suggested I would. And I went ahead and closed this in. So we have a little hallway here now. So there's our driver's area. We've got a door here into this. So this can be, I don't know, storage or something here. Or maybe we'll have the beds for resin in here. That might be a good good place for them. Um, these doors I couldn't change. Uh, the Arc Extra doors are a little bit different. And uh, I couldn't get them to go that way. This is where our stairs will be going up to the cabin. Uh, there will be an opening there, but I have to have the ceilings there for uh, what we need to do starting off. So, let's see here. So this will be our cabin area. See, I extended this back, actually. I'm going to leave this actually open here. Um, and have a door here, so we can actually step out here. And you see there's also one on the other side. I think these are called sponsons on... Uh, actual aircraft carriers these parts that come out on the side like this but uh, yeah we got them off the back a bit see this would be our cabin here and this will be the flight deck now you can see what I plan here normally I would use sl uh, sloped roofs but I discovered I can actually use the ramps and they fit a little bit and then I fall in the water I've done that so many times <laughs> Okay, so let's see here. What do we got? Um, oh, yes, I was going to do this. Let's go ahead and do this next. On the front here, I am going to adjust this a little bit to make this a little smoother looking. Uh, I think I'm actually going to need another one there. Uh, uh, oh, oh, it won't let me. It's too far from the foundation for that. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I guess I won't do that that way then. There we go. Oh, they didn't work underwater last time. I wonder why it worked this time. All right, I'll figure something else out for the front there. So we won't do that at this moment. Let's go ahead and get these sponsons finished up. And what we need here is ramps. Did I make some already? I think I did. There we go. 40 ramps. We got tons of ramps. Okay. I'm just going to put that in there for now. Okay. So this is going to be a real nuisance trying to get these to fit in here. But it will be worth it when we're done. See, the, it does not want to face the direction that you want it to face. So we've got... Uh, play with it and get it to go there. What if I... Come on. Maybe I might need to... Uh... Man. I hope this... After I built all these ramps, I hope it'll actually go in this way because it doesn't look like it wants to now. <laughs> the first one went in there. It took me a lot of work to get it to fit, but it went in there. Hmm. What if... What if we use ramp just for the first one and then use ceilings afterwards? I do have one sloped roof here. Let's try that. Because the problem with the sloped roofs is that they... So this one was, doesn't want to connect either. Hmm. Well, I think this may actually screw up my whole plans for that. Wait a 
that. What if I do this? Nope. That's not working either. Hmm. Well, you know what? While I'm thinking about it, we got the ramps out. I want to go put the ramps in the front because this is getting to be a bit of a nuisance, these not being here. There. Okay, so now we got our ramps in the front. Just gonna leave that open for right now. Well, I might have to go back to using roofs after all, even though I built all of these other pieces. Out there. Take the ramp off there. This hasn't exactly been much more cooperative. You see how I don't like it because it <sighs> falls in the water. Uh, because it overlaps a lot. That's what I didn't like about it. But, you know, if that's what we have to do, that's what we have to do. Alright, let's make some slope groups. Actually, you know what, let's skip that for right now. Let's go to our cabin. So, we're going to have two doors. One right here, then one right here, the rest, then solid stone walls here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve glass windows. I think I'm going to want one of each of these. That sucks. I made all those ramps, though. We're not going to be able to use them. It worked with the first one. I don't know why it didn't work with any after that. Okay, so here's our cabin's going to look. Oh, are you kidding me? Ugh. You know what? I think I remember now I did have to do this. I had to put foundations under it in order for that to work when I did it before. Hmm. Hmm. Well. Okay. So we know what we have to do here, though. So, not a big deal. We are going to come back here. We have to take these all off. Okay, so we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six. Six foundations. Well, we've made quite a dent in uh, our materials here. We're just going to make two more thatch ceilings for us. Let's make our lives easier. Let's see how the other ones. There they are. Those there. You can see this boat building is a pretty time consuming process. I mean, just as much as building a, 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 a fortification or a house or whatever, but with the added difficulty of the fact that you're doing it on the water and we're going to no doubt keep falling in the water every 20 seconds and. I remembered I'd had foundations out like this on last boat that I did like this, but I couldn't remember why. Now I guess I know why. Okay, so 
Now we got these in place, so our windows should place above. Take these all off. Change the nature of our uh, structure here a bit, but not too much. Be too big a deal. It'll actually gain us another room out of all this, too. So that's going to go away. This is this. Now let's go see if we can do our windows. Much better. There we go. I will probably... Nope, not one side. Not that. Not that. Uh, no, that's three sides. Darn it. Two sides B, that's what we want. Looking pretty cool, all right? I know there is a model gun, but I don't know if it really makes any difference in this case. Oh, we got one more, don't we? Come on. There. Oh no, that's not right. That's good. So there we go. So now you see when we're in here, we'll have this beautiful view looking out all around. Actually, I might have to change some of these, but I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. <laughs> Just realized something else. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Okay, now here we're going to want one, two, three, was that four? Four stone walls, and we want our two two glass doors. Let's do it. two, one, two, and we'll take these guys. Go ahead and put them on. And then we'll see how many sloped ones we need. Door. And that has no model change to it. And of course it would place in the wrong side. So. Yep. And then the sloped ones I want here. Right here. And these Psycho models? No, they can't. So I guess that'll just say like that anyways. And then see, we need one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's what I thought. Just some stone walls going too. Glass. Come on, glass. Where's our slope? Right there. Get all the all this wood and stone and stuff that I gathered to do this. We gathered a lot of stuff. But well, we'll go ahead and put this in all that crafts.
So this will be our solid wall for, you know, things we have to have up against the wall. We don't want to be blocking windows with interesting stuff. So we will have walls there. Oh, I should have done five more for the next row up. That's okay, that's fine. Actually, we're going to need more than that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and eleven. So we need eleven more walls. So we aren't going to have windows for all of it. Okay, that's going. Let me get our sloped guys in here. Start seeing how this is gonna look. There. See? It's be a nice view here. And it'll give a nice shape to that sponson. You see how that the you know sort of wedges in from top and bottom? Very nice. The roof of here will have our solar panel for powering the boat. Last one of these I did, we weren't using the solar panel, so I had a generator in that area down below. Rest the bees on. Interesting. This one seems to be lower. Why is this one lower? This whole thing seems to be lower. All right, let's fix that. That. Take that. It must have placed on the wall below it. That. That. I ended up with extra walls. How did I end up with extra walls? It did it again. There we go. That's better. That looks better. Now we just need our six. I'll check. Two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Twelve stone ceilings for that. And that cabin will be complete. Okay, so now let's take a look at this here. What I'm going to need to do here is this. I'm going to have... Oops. I only want metal walls there. Stone walls. We're going to need more. Um, let's see, is that how we're going to want to do that? Probably. We could actually... Look at that. It might look better. Try this instead. What if we did this instead? And then the ramp pieces would be. Whoops. <laughs> that was not what I thought I was picking up. Okay. Well, that's handy, I guess. Pick you up and redo you, too. Hmm, interesting. Place at the same height. Wait, no. Welcome to Ark. Absolutely nothing places where expected. 
Come on. See it wanting to place there. There we go. Oh, and all these are at different heights, too. Okay, we'll fix that later. Um, let's see. And then these guys, I don't remember which one we're going to need. There. So then we'll have our slope right here at the lower level. Here. There. So you see how that'll be. We're just going to have to... Get these guys to place properly. <laughs> no, I said get you them to place properly. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to fiddle with that. So yeah, that'll give us a little room here. That'll be nice. And room under the stairs, as it were. I'll be able to do this a little bit differently. We'll see. We'll see when we get that far. All right, so I am going to go work on this some, and I will be our bees. Okay, and we've got uh, pretty much the whole structure of the boat finished. See, this response in here is finished. This response in here is finished. This out here, response in for the cabin is finished. Ramp is all finished. I just need to put a couple more foundations on here. I fixed the front here by extending it a little bit, expanding the, the foundation. Ugh, stupid array. Alright, do it right this time. Ugh. Why do you move on me like that? I'm not gonna... We'll, we'll leave it for Um, let's see. We've got a couple railings in here. Make sure, you, make sure people don't fall down the stairs. You know, we need to save. Come on. There we go. Safety first. Stairs coming down here to our nice pilot area. I think this here, I'm going to read. I took that wall out. I'm going to redo it. So this will be a little bit different here once I get the, once I get to that point. And you can see how I extended this out, just one foundation. And then I put these uh, uh, upside down, I guess you would say, uh, uh, sloped roofs. And these little platforms here to make it more of, more of a you know boat-like front. Uh, same thing uh, uh, up above. The problem I ran to up above, though, is I couldn't get the sloped roofs to go on. But then I looked at it from this angle. And, Man, that looks like something from Robotech. <laughs> it opened like that. It's like I should put guns there or something. But yeah, it's looking pretty nice. I I'm very pleased the way this has come out. Let's see... Get a good idea of what it's going to look like there. We need to get our railings on, but other than that... Okay, then in here we're going to have like our workshop and our cooking area and all of that. First thing first is going to be this cooking fireplace. This is the cooking fireplace mod. And uh, hopefully we won't be doing too much cooking on the boat, but this will allow us to cook. Let's move this back further. We don't need a lot of room in front of that door. There we go. That's nice. This here. Let's get some railings out here, too. There. Oh, wow. Both placed uh, uh, in, in one shot. Okay. You can see you can just jump down there. That's why I'm leaving that railing off. We'll do the same thing over here. I actually... I'm thinking about putting a ladder right down here, and same thing on the other side so you can come up without having to open one of the gates, at least from the stern. So far, so good there. Is this side going to cave itself? Yeah. Come on. Uh, yeah. Oh! Huh. Oh, I didn't think that one was going to place right, but it did. Or... 
Okay. And you see on the front here, you can't place them here. Um, you know, the first time, you know, I said I've done a boat like this before. The first time I did it and I found I couldn't put them there, I was like, oh, well, okay, I'll just leave them off. And it turned out to be a good advantage because uh, we had discovered in previous boat builds and we're trying to, you're trying to grab somebody and, and carry them, you know, with an RG. Uh, so you can do a tame or something. You invariably knock them off the by scraping them off on the railing. So this way you can fly from aft to fore and uh, pick the person up and you won't knock them off on the railing because there's no railing on the front all right let's see if this will no, no it won't it's going to say let's see if this will behave itself third time's the charm no okay let's see if we can get this one to place there we go all right the ones on either side are placed right will this actually play right this time yes there we go whoa there we go. <laughs> eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Huh? <laughs> okay, this is seriously dancing jig here. Two to go. Come on. Yep. Oh, come on. Oh, jeez. One more. And we do it. And we get all these railings placed. Yes! There we go. We got all our railings in place. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Hey, cool. Let's, uh... an aerial view here. Yeah, I like the way the stone came out for the deck. It looks really nice. Whoa! Try not to dip myself in the water here. Very cool from the front. Oh, I, I almost forgot. I noticed uh, noticed just before doing this recording that uh, we have our first Patreon uh, supporter. Uh, thank you very, very much. Uh, Hazardous Greed, I believe is the name. I'm sorry if I got it wrong there. Um, I meant to keep the page open so I could remember, the, so I get it right. But uh, in typical Trigon fashion, I forgot. But thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I uh, was really surprised to, uh, I mean, I just set up the Patreon account, uh, so I was really surprised to already have a Patreon supporter, and it really, really means a lot. It's really a big surprise, too. <laughs> All right, got that closed up. Yeah, I think this has worked out pretty good. I will finish it up in, uh, in our next episode. I'll show you how we finished it up. But uh, the boat is built. Now it's just a matter of loading the stuff inside of it and maybe doing a little tweaking here. And so if you uh, like this video, please tickle that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we will definitely see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.